SpaceX just launched Blue Walker 3. Here's everything you need to know. On the 10th of September, AST Space Mobile's massive Blue Walker 3 satellite was launched into orbit aboard one of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. One day before the launch, on the 9th of September, SpaceX CEO and Chief Engineer Mr. Elon Musk himself sent out a tweet stating, quote, One of our most complex missions, end quote. But what exactly is the Blue Walker 3? What will it be used for and why was it so difficult to launch it into space? We will tell you everything you need to know in today's video. But before we begin, welcome to Elon Musk Times, the place to be for news about Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and today, the Blue Walker 3. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit the bell icon to never miss a video. Now, let's dive right in. The skies will be bright in September, and the internet service will be better. What sounds like a catchy slogan is actually SpaceX putting one more satellite in the sky. On the 10th of September, the space exploration company had another one of its routine launches. This time, it took an unusual passenger from one of its subsidiaries, Starlink. Those who had their eye out for it could see the launch and its passengers gliding in the clear blue night sky. The launch was set to occur with Starlink Group 42 from Launchpad LC-39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On Saturday, the 10th of September, at exactly 9.10 p.m., SpaceX launched its Falcon 9 rocket into the sky. The missile had about 60 tablet-sized Starlink satellites and deposited them into low Earth orbit. After a job well done, the rocket was routed to land the Falcon 9 Stage 1 booster on its sixth flight back on the landing platform called a shortfall on Gravitas at sea. The most exciting aspect of the event was the hitchhiking passenger that took a back seat in the Falcon 9. The Texas-based AST Space Mobile has caught the interest of everyone near and far. The mission is a test demonstrator for the company, and once successful, it will be the first of 110 satellites in low Earth orbit for global coverage. The usually chatty CEO had very little to say about the magnificent launch. All the SpaceX CEO did was comment on the complexity of the project. On Friday, the 9th of September, Musk took to Twitter and commented, quote, one of our most complex missions, end quote. The presence of the additional passenger made the launch a rather tricky one indeed. According to records, SpaceX was pushing its envelope with the additional passenger it took on with this latest launch. Over the past three months, AST Space Mobile has worked day and night in conjunction with its parent company, SpaceX. Together, they managed to complete the assembly and build the Blue Walker 3. The completion of the project included the Blue Walker 693 square feet phased array of antennas. The construction and storage took place at the company's headquarters and manufacturing facility in Midland, Texas. Blue Walker 3's antenna collection is critical to its success because it is designed to connect directly to existing mobile phones from a much greater distance than traditional cell towers. Before the antennas left Texas for Florida, over 800 tests were conducted to confirm their functionality. But what exactly is the Blue Walker? In the simplest of terms, the Blue Walker 3 is a prototype satellite. It is designed to connect to cell phones in a space environment for their planned space mobile constellation. It's also SpaceX's latest edition of satellites in orbit. The Blue Walker stands out amongst other satellites thanks to its size and grand goal. The Blue Walker spans 693 square feet when it is fully unfolded. This makes it the most extensive commercial antenna array that has ever been launched into space. The Blue Walker has only one goal, to test the new technology designed to provide global cellular phone service directly to users from space. The aim is to fill the coverage gaps that are currently preventing certain regions from enjoying the best of what is available out there. It also seeks to provide seamless high-speed phone and data services to areas that need them the most. In an interview, the current AST Space Mobile Chief Strategy Officer, Scott Wisniewski, spoke highly of the many benefits of the Blue Walker. He said, quote, The reason why our satellite is large is that to liaise with a low-power, low-internal-strength phone, you only need a larger antenna with a lot of power on one side, and it's a critical part of our infrastructure, end quote. He also added that, quote, It is crucial to communicate directly with regular handsets, with no change to the handset and no extra burden on the user, end quote. Although the Blue Walker has safely made it to low Earth orbit, it is still going to take a while before AST Space Mobile makes any request of it. While waiting to command Blue Walker 3 to deploy its spring-loaded antenna, the company will be performing a number of checks just to confirm that all is well with the satellite. SpaceX is in the business of breaking records and establishing new benchmarks. It did precisely that with its most recent launch. 
the Falcon 9 rocket carrying 34 Starlink Internet satellites took off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It was also moving the Blue Walker 3, an AST Space Mobile prototype satellite billed as the most extensive commercial communications array ever flown in space. Liftoff occurred at 9.20 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, the 10th of September, with the Falcon 9 booster making SpaceX history when it returned to Earth. The mission was quite exciting and challenging, setting a couple of new records. The launch is now noted as the record-breaking 14th launch for the rocket. This launch also made the record as the first five-engine burn mission SpaceX has undertaken to deploy payloads in orbit. The launch managed to sneak another record in as the company's heaviest ride-hailing payload to date. The Blue Walker 3 alone stands 3,300 pounds. When Falcon 9 returned to Earth, it made some SpaceX history. Once the Blue Walker is firmly established in low Earth orbit, AST Space Mobile intends to conduct several in-orbit tests and configurations. Once the tests and configurations are complete, the fun begins. AST Space Mobile plans to conduct Blue Walker 3 direct-to-cell phone testing on every inhabited continent. The various tests will be performed together with mobile network operators. The mobile network operators that are in on this plan with AST Space Mobile include Vodafone, Rakuten Mobile, and Orange. The operators will be using cell phone handsets from the major global manufacturers. What will the Blue Walker be used for? Scott Wisniewski, the chief strategy officer at AST Space Mobile, said, quote, There are over 5 billion mobile phones in use today globally. However, many of us still have coverage gaps where we reside, work, and as we travel. Furthermore, billions of individuals all over the globe continue to lack access to high-speed internet. We want our efforts to significantly increase the global availability of cellular broadband by connecting existing, unmodified mobile phones to a space-based network. The delivery of Blue Walker 3 to Cape Canaveral marks another significant step forward in our efforts to achieve this goal." End quote. One of the main aims of AST Space Mobile is to provide accessible internet service to everyone on the planet, regardless of country and continent. To that end, AST Space Mobile is working with about 25 cellular service providers in the test phase. Out of the 25, about 10 service providers are in the first testing phase. These 10 service providers will take part in the company's planned six-month shakedown. AST Space Mobile plans to cruise the Blue Walker 3 across the six continents of the planet and see how it holds up. One fact that deserves repetition is how much of a visionary Elon Musk is. When he had a simple dream, many said it was impossible. Now the impossible is fast shaping into reality. With the latest launch by the satellite company, it's only a matter of time before Blue Walker and Starlink become household names. Alright, so what do you guys have to say about this? Let us know in the comments below, or just leave a fist bump if you like the video. And subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss the next one. We sincerely appreciate you spending time with us today, and we'll look forward to doing it once again soon. Have the best day, and we'll see you next time.